everyone, welcome to Sketch a Day Live. Wasn't feeling too hot yesterday, so decided not to stream, but here we are. And uh, I feel like painting today, so that's what I'm going to do. The theme this week is Marvel, but I'm not going to be painting anything Marvel related. I just feel like painting. So, hope you're doing all right. Hope you had a good weekend, well rested, hydrated, all the things. I'll be using my iPad Pro today and Adobe Fresco. That's what I'll be using. So, I'll still do my warm up. I thought about I thought about sketching the Hulk, but I need to practice a little bit first. So, I think I'll uh, sharpen up my skills a little bit before jumping into that. But if you do want to participate, check out the Discord. It's sketchaday.com slash Discord. And you'll be able to get a link to the Discord server if you want to participate in that challenge. Okay. I think I'm a little situated. I also just barely got done working out, so apologies for my appearance. All right. Let's jump into... Why is this not working? I think my computer is fighting me today. It's fighting me. Yeah, there it goes. Fighting me again. For real. For real this time. All right. Let's do some warm-ups. I started this... Uh, sketch a little bit yesterday actually felt like doing some sort of seaside seaside thing so I'll keep working on that hey arnav dribble hulk mecca <laughs> would be happy true but i don't feel like doing the marvel stuff today i feel like painting so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna loosen up a little bit before we start like i always do this is Adobe Fresco. So if you haven't checked it out, just Google Adobe Fresco. It's free for iPad. And then there's some additional features if you uh, have Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm warming up because I was just lifting heavy weights. So I feel like my hand is a little bit shaky. So I'm just trying to make sure kind of adjust here. The tilt on my pencil won't work for some reason. I don't know if anyone has had any issues with that in an iPad, but I think I need to like reset my iPad or something. Or unpair and pair. Has anyone had that issue? Where the tilt just stops working? Because this pencil is supposed to be like a shader pencil. Let's see. Stylus pressure. Yeah, see, it's... Yeah, this is weird. Anyhow, I'll have to look into it. Look into it at some point. I swear it's supposed to have tilt on this pencil. Let's see. Let's see! Alright, that's graphite. Anyhow, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. Um... Let's go back to basic. Is it basic? Sketching, there we go. <clears throat> and I'll do some ellipses here. Also, if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, I'm gonna just paint a landscape today. That's what I feel like doing. So, happy little landscape, happy little beach house. So if you feel like joining, cool. If not, it's all good. I'm gonna do my thing. Try not to draw the same thing all the time either. So mixing it up is always good. Um, I mean, it's comfortable to do the same thing, but also if you want to grow, you got to try different things, right? Yeah, they sold Sketchbook Pro. I don't know, do you know who bought it? Who's running it now? I know, uh, at least I'm, I'm interested to see if they update it more now. So that was that was unexpected. Shout out and thanks to the patrons and channel members as well. If you want to support Sketch a Day, that is sketchaday.com slash or sorry, 
patreon.com. Hey, Trey. New uh, YouTube channel. All right, you take care. Um, or YouTube name, I should say. Let's clear this layer and do it again. Um, ooh, my tilt just worked. See, that was weird. I have no idea what's happening. It like just worked and then it stopped. I wonder if it's the touch control. No, that was really weird. Yeah, there must be some way to reset pencil settings or something. Anyhow, I'll have to figure that out later. For now, we paint. A little bit. But yeah, ask me any career questions, life questions. I can't give you dating or marriage advice because apparently I suck at that, so... Yeah, it was weird. My I booted up. Oh, I didn't boot up my computer. I think it uh, updated on its own. So when I woke it up this morning, like my cameras weren't being detected or anything. And uh, I was like, oh, no, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, man. I'm like tired from my workout too. It was intense. <laughs> Do y'all work out much? I think the pandemic kind of threw everybody off. Going to the gym feels weird now. All the little daily things I used to do feel weird. Everything feels upside down and backwards all right let's paint so i started with this kind of rough sketch last night actually um so i may do some canvas cropping i need i want it to be a little bit um a little bit shorter Maybe something like that, yeah. What are my thoughts on make on the way EVs are making an impact on the automotive industry? Um I use comparisons to Hitler to win arguments on the internet at the drop of a hat. Oh, it's on the Mac App Store for twenty bucks. Interesting. I'll have to check it out. My day's been alright so far. Just been just been working out. Um so EVs and the automotive industry, interesting question. Alright, so this is water here. So I'm doing I'm doing this pencil sketch, but I'll I'll do another one too. I think I'm gonna make this wider as well. The nice thing about fresco that I like anyways is the canvas can be whatever size you want. And I haven't run into any issues of um I haven't run into any issues of running out of space just yet. Or memory. You know how Procreate limits your layers? I haven't run into that with Fresco. Um, and I think it's an actual thing that's a part of the the app. Um, there's also vector brushes that you can use. I do have a brush kit for Fresco as well, but if you prefer Procreate, there's one for Procreate too. There's one for Procreate as well. So I'll have to check that out on the Mac App Store though. So yeah, just wanted to do some sort of beachy thing here. Maybe some sort of peninsula or bluff. Some sort of beach house. So these lines are me trying to kind of define surfaces or the terrain, if you will. All right, if there's a drop off here, for example, kind of just sketching that in with some lines. Oops, that was my Procreate sketch. I was sketching at the dentist office. 
I think I told you, told y'all about that on Friday, no, Saturday. Told y'all about that. Yeah, I'm trying to decide, where's the horizon? I'll make the horizon about here. And then all these other hills and landforms can be back here. Be one, one through here. So I'll just show you something real quick. So usually when I'm doing a landscape, I don't know if this is, you know, actual painting practice, like proper practice. I just paint, so I just do whatever I want. But I'll usually have a, you know, background, middle ground, and then foreground. So I may have like bigger elements here, and then here I'll have, you know, the beach house and stuff. And in the background, I have the mountains, clouds and whatnot. Um, but this allows me to, you know, do things like desaturate and lighten. As I go back, All right? So if you're looking at the scene, it's really, you know, you're seeing all these things. So as you move further back in your scene, you can, uh, desaturate, lighten, um, make things smaller. Let's say smaller eyes as you go back. So that's kind of how I see things anyways, as I'm working. They took out the Copic brushes in the paid edition. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I just, I stopped using it when they stopped really developing, and that was some insider information um, that I had gotten from someone who used to work there. So, um, let's see, I'm checking out their website, About Us. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. I wonder if I know who bought this. Okay. I'll have to check this out later, but I saw a name here. And I'm trying to figure out if... Huh. Okay, let's see. So you guys are probably wondering what I'm looking at, so I'll just share with you. So I'm looking at <clears throat> this blog post. I recognize the name Chris, um, but I'm trying to figure out who bought Sketchbook or what happened. Okay, let's look at Sketchbook Pro. Yeah, it doesn't say who bought it. Oh, wait. Oh, interesting. I think it is, I think it is my friend that bought it. Okay, so I'll have to, I'll have to hit him up and see if that's the case. So in the same month, they released an update which made the app unusable for any device using Android 11, causing all save work to be deleted. Oh no, that's terrible. That is terrible. All right, so I sent him a message. I will return with some information if that is the case. Ever throw it into After Effects and put a little parallax? Um, I've never done that. I've never actually done that, but if, if, if oh, and what's up variable? Good to see you. Um, for clarity, so here would be like the mid ground, what I would consider to be mid ground stuff, right? And then this is like, foreground and then all of this here would be you know 
all the background stuff, clouds and whatnot. So that's kind of how I, and then, you know, I'll maybe throw something in here. I don't know if I'll throw in some land or something, but something in the front to just kind of create the depth there. But back to our sketch. All right, I kind of want there to be this, like, pier of some sort. Some sort of pier. Tiny house. I like tiny houses. So the sketch is just going to guide where I put my my colors here. Maybe this is a river. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do. My land. Or it could be beach. Could be beach there. That's definitely... Definitely some beach here. Okay. This drops off a bit more. So yeah, maybe something like that. Hello, Gizmo. Um, in June, independent company led by two former sketchbook employees yeah so if it is who i think it is then i think i think i know who bought it oh yeah it is i just looked at uh his facebook page <laughs> that's crazy that is really crazy crazy cool wild okay so yeah i know who bought it so i'll talk with them and see uh see what's up what's on the horizon maybe i'll start using sketchbook again it just they just weren't like taking care of it i think they were just focused on other things autodesk at the time so just interesting. The whole thing is interesting. I feel like they're a few years behind though. But there are some loyal people for sure. I'm I'm guessing they took the Copic brushes out because of some licensing deal, is my guess. That's my guess. That would be my guess. Okay, I'm going to try and paint this all in a few layers. Not too many layers here. Um, I do have a favorite brush that I like. It's called the Go Go brush. This one. It's pretty cool. It does the thing. Now, for colors, I think I'm actually going to reference um, just, uh, just for colors. Just for some colors, you know. There's this really cool tool by um, NVIDIA lately. I don't know if you've seen it. I forgot what it's called, but... Um... Okay, I'm just going to paste a couple images here. So just for color reference, I'm going to throw couple pictures in here um but there's this cool new tool that's uh scott robertson's been using if you follow him on instagram at all and it's like 
AI generated landscapes and stuff. I don't know if you've seen it. All right, so I've got some color reference here. Wrong thing, okay. All right, so I got a little color palette going. NVIDIA Canvas, yes. Hey, Sai, what's up? What's up, banger? Hello, everyone. Hey, Tom, sorry I missed your, uh, missed your message. Don't forget to beat the devil out of the brush. Not sure what you mean there. All right, so like I said, I like this brush. It's just easy. Easy brush. So just laying some, some color down, some broad strokes. <clears throat> Like I said, because I have these um, pictures here, I can just quickly reference color. Let's pull these up. I'll quickly just reference color here. I could also, um, you know, take those colors and just paint them too, but meaning just, you know, put little splotches down on. on the canvas itself. Um, the reason I am painting sky and the water at the same time is I want to um, I want to try and capture you know how water reflects the sky so I'm just trying to capture those tones in the water and then I'll tweak it a little bit here and there. Stop it. It's a problem with gesture control sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Want some green in here? I'm gonna put this down. Desaturate and lighten. I guess I could go a little bit bluish green. Desat. Sketch a day live. Thanks for joining. Being a part of part of my little hangout. If you like what you see and see what you like, appreciate it. Appreciate the support. And check out sketchaday.com slash or sorry, patreon patreon.com slash sketchaday. Keep, I keep giving the wrong URL. A little too yellow. A little too yellow. <laughs> Hello, gerbil. Redacted. Um, learning from some videos how not to be scared of drawing perfect lines. Um, you just do it, Sasha. I know it sounds like I'm being flippant, but you just, you just do it. Kind of go with it. I, I like to remind myself that, I like to remind myself that, um,
There's always a fix. You can always fix something. So it's not super important for me to get things perfect necessarily. And they take it takes time too, so be patient with yourself. Um, it takes time when you're doing this stuff. And see, my my painting is like super rough. It's not super tight. It's not perfect. So it just takes a little time. But you'll get the hang of it. So broad strokes first, and then I'm going to do my lighter strokes. Lighter and smaller as well. thing here again just blocking in this is all in the same layer as well all in the same layer just blocking in colors Yeah, put in the work. Uh, check Discord when I have time, okay. I don't usually respond to personal messages on Discord, meaning um, if you send me a direct message, but if you, if you tag me or at me, I'll see it. So just a little, little FYI heads up there. If you're trying to reach me and you're like, he's not responding, I don't know what's happening. Get some light over here. Start texturing things out. I feel like photography kind of helps you as well. If you um, like doing this sort of stuff. Because it, it just helps you kind of kind of know how light works and details things like that also I found that squinting your eyes can kind of help when you're doing this kind of thing so you can try that I shouldn't say there's no shortcuts. There are shortcuts. Um, 
you can use that NVIDIA Canvas app, for example. Seems like a promising shortcut to doing what I'm doing here. And even then, mine won't be as realistic as, as the uh, NVIDIA Canvas app is, which is fine. It's totally fine. Okay. Just adding some rocks here. I gotta sneeze. Great books for drawing, not for anatomy. Um, How to Draw by Scott Robertson is pretty fantastic. I like that book. Um, I have a few guides on my website, but they're, they're less specific about how to draw and more about how to use certain materials or tools. So I've got one on markers and pen and ink, and then I'm working on a digital sketching guide as well. So... That'll be out eventually. All right, a little bit of bluish, bluish gray here on our far away hillside. Touches of some purple here and there. Um, I'm not an expert on color theory either, so I kind of just go by, for me anyways, what looks or feels right. Um, again, I found that photography kind of helps me. Um, so if that if that helps you, awesome. But I know that helps me helps me a bit, so. Helps me know where to put things and what kind of feels feels more natural. Uh, hopped on late. What program? I'm using Adobe Fresco. Is what I'm using. So that is what I am using. Adobe Fresco. These shadows are a little bit too purple, so I need to deset here. I'm trying to let's see if I can get a mix. Sometimes if you just color select right on the boundary, there we go, you can get kind of a better mix. <laughs> My little shade fell off. I've got a little shade on this light. Because it's a little bit too too much in my face. It just fell on my head. Yep, I'm using Adobe Fresco. Um, has anyone tried it or no? It's getting better. Um, I will admit it's not as robust in some ways as um, Procreate, but 
it does have some things I like a lot. The file syncing, for example, really like that. So I can, without having to do anything really, I can kind of start on Start on my iPad, continue on my phone if I want, finish on my desktop. So if you like working in a flexible way, um, it can be nice. It can be really nice that way. So yeah, check it out if you're curious. Did I pick up a Jamaica Apple Watch band? No, I haven't yet. I need to. Did you get one, Andrew? I really need to. Thanks for the reminder. Because they weren't available at first. They would kind of just announced them. But they weren't, like, available, available. So I need to... Uh... I need to check that out. Hopefully this is enjoyable, a little little bit different. Sometimes I do paint. I just felt like painting today, so apologies if you were expecting a shoe or a car or a robot. I just felt like felt like painting today. So I've noticed with painting that your the direction of your brush stroke can make a big difference in how light in your surfaces kind of appear details and so forth so I'm also open to tips so if if you guys are painting experts happy to happy to listen I'm trying to create like an area of focus right here just with some of these highlights and details and stuff background doesn't matter as much but I want this to be kind of be the focal point of the image so a little bit more of uh, detailed stroke contrast definition and so forth right up here so now I'll start to, to clean this up a little bit All right, not exactly the shadow color I want, so I'm gonna go back to, I'm trying to get it to be a bit cooler, not a warm gray. Let's see, maybe this kind of reddish, no. Let's look here, a little bit of saturation. Okay, I can live with that. Let's see what our blend yields. So sometimes I'll just paint lightly over and then see what the blend is and then just go with that. I'm trying to create a shadow under this pier. Of course, we're going to get some reflected light from the back. So it's not going to be as simple as... It's not going to be as simple as a... 
just painting the solid color in, of course. All right, a little bit of shadow here. Come on, there we go. A little bit darker on this side. Just tighten this up a bit. And of course, contrast is your friend. <laughs> so right here on this edge, we're just gonna lighten things up a bit. Yeah, something's definitely up with my iPad. So I'm gonna have to consult the Book of Knowledge, aka the internet, and see see what they say. Yeah, I'm. I, I know I can do a black layer, um, but I'm I'm trying to work on my. Um, ability to just pick colors out so that's why I'm doing it the hard way and also to paint on like there's there's easier ways to do everything I'm doing right now but I'm also trying to train myself a bit if that makes sense let's see what I've been, what I've been up to I've been Making lamps. I'm gonna be part of a an artisan show. There's lots of local people making stuff. And I'll be sharing some of my my creations for sale. And my sister's doing it too. So it should be fun. But yeah, this is all in the same layer. Again, doesn't have to be. I'm just, I'm trying to challenge myself. Almost as if I were doing a real painting. Plus some of these brushes will mix uh, colors. So if I have a color on the canvas already and then and paint next to it, it'll just mix in.
Looks like there's updates coming to Sketchbook Pro already, by the way. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, let's see. Okay, where did you post your message? <laughs> oh, there's Arna. Beat the devil out of the brushes. <laughs> okay. Got it. That's really cool that they bought the app. Friend of mine. Really, really cool. Okay, let's see if I can borrow some more color here. I really like this, this kind of orange. I really like that, so I'm going to use some of that. What do you guys think? Is it coming together? I feel like it's coming together. Just got to work on the house, the water, because I got to do... Got to do all this stuff reflected in the water, you know? Maybe extend the beach out a little bit, too. Or should the beach be like, like that? I don't know. Kind of want there to be... Beach a bit further out, too. I'm going to have to look at a photo to see how to... Um, how to color that, how to paint it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I feel like it's coming together. At least from afar here. Zoomed out. That's crazy. Okay, watch this. Picking this color. So here's a little lesson on color theory. So you see how this color um, here, this color right there in this area. See how it looks light? Look what happens when I paint over here. Isn't that crazy? It's the same color. It just looks different because color theory seriously it's like wild same exact color the human eye is just insane Oh, nice, Arnav. That's right. Gerb Ross. Pretty wild though, just how colors <clears throat> colors work. Pretty wild.
So one general rule of thumb I try to follow <clears throat> when I'm painting or doing anything uh, with color really is that light never hits a surface perfectly even. Right? There's always going to be some variation. Helps add to the natural look of things if you can do that. So just a little tip for you. So even here, all right, I've, I've been assuming my, my light source is coming um, this way this whole time. So even here on the pier, yo Pierre, you want to come out here? Um, like just having having a bit of variation on the light can kind of help. Lightest lights against darkest darks. It's going to give you your contrast. Make things feel more real. And of course, as things are a bit closer to us, they'll be a bit more saturated. So if this, for example, is some sort of rock, Then I'm going to have more detail here that I need to show. I'm going to lighten up the horizon a bit. bit lighter so remember this is all on the same layer except for the pencil marks this is all on the same layer <laughs> what if Pierre just wanted to sit on the pier? Oh, the problem with my tablet is for some reason it is not picking up on tilt. For some reason. And I don't know why. So my, my uh, Apple Pencil, the tilt won't register for some reason. So like uh, certain brushes respond to you tilting. Let's turn this off and see how it looks. Okay, so there is without the pencil lines. It's just kind of using those as a guide still. Let's make sure. Okay, I do need to... Tighten up a few things here. A little bit of a blue tinge to the shadows being cast. Shadows usually a little cool, a little cool in the shadow can kind of help. Let's 
So just nice and light there. All right, so now I'm gonna just start to be a bit more detailed. Some of these strokes. And yes, there are brushes that would, again, make this a little bit easier, but kind of challenging myself. So it's all the same brush too, so far. So now when I zoom out, we should have a little bit of detail there. Again, lightest lights against darkest darks. It's gonna give you contrast. So now when I zoom out, you can kind of see that grass is starting to pop. I want to overdo it though, just little hits. Inner metal transducer has been damaged. New Apple Pencil, if only plastic tip is damaged, then replacing the tip may restore. Oh, really? I wonder if it, I mean, it has fallen. It has fallen before. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll order another one and see. See what happens there. Thanks for the tip. Appreciate that. Sure appreciate it. Only the plastic tip is down. I don't think it's only the plastic tip though. So I'll have to look into that a little bit later. Well, I've been going for an hour. Okay, I gotta wrap soon. Gotta wrap soon. Tiny cottage, very tiny. Okay, shadow side. Really don't want to rush this, but I got stuff to do today, bad.
the roof is a little bit off, so I'm going to fix that. I want like a teal door. Windows during the daytime are weird too because they always look dark. I guess unless there's light coming inside the house. Lightest lights, darkest darks, that should give us some contrast here. I'm not being particularly careful on the roof. I should be, but I'm trying to get, get a little further here than I am. I guess from a distance it'll look fine too. So I probably shouldn't worry so much. Probably shouldn't worry so much. Not if I need to get rid of this green here. I want the Brown in the house to be a little fuzzy, but I also need to go white. Painting white is really hard, by the way. Um, white's hard, yellow's hard, because your brain wants you to do things that aren't right when you're painting those colors. I don't know if you've noticed that. But either painting or marker, I've mentioned yellow before. Like with yellow, you kind of have to, you kind of have to go with like brown. These windows are like really high. I just realized. I wonder if I can make them like long. Or maybe I'll just move them. Let's just move them and fix it. Let's move them down a little bit. Perks of digital painting, right? I don't have to paint that over. I guess I could have, but since I'm challenging myself and all. Okay, so this is the color I said I wanted to get rid of. But I need to go a little bit lighter. A 
little bit lighter here. And when I zoom out, it should be fine. So yeah, this is just the Go Go brush. I'm not using my custom brushes in Fresco, but I do have them. So if you decide to try Fresco and you like my Procreate brushes, just check out sketchaday.com. Um, that's where I have those. It's a great way to support as well. Plus you get something like get some brushes. It's pretty rad. I think. Maybe this is a big glass door. Or something. But I like the idea of a teal door. All right, so there we are. I'm gonna turn off my color layer now. <clears throat> yes, it does. Hello, Marzi. Maybe the side of the house here is like all glass. but I'll have to work on that a little bit later because, oops, I'm running out of time. But the whole side could be, could be glass or windows. I guess that would make it a bit more modern too. The whole side were windows. And then maybe, maybe there could be some sort of triangular window thing up here. Oh yeah, that could be cool. I'll do that. So again, all in one layer. Um, as for the inside of the house, I'm not gonna address that right now. I'm just gonna block it out. Um, Cause if the, if the whole side is glass, then we're gonna start to get, you know, some of the landscape thrown showing through on the inside. Right, we're gonna get some some shadowing and whatnot as well, maybe silhouette silhouette some stuff out. And then I'll have to like lighten it up. Lighten it up in here and stuff. So I'll have to work on that a little bit later.
Where did I put my phone? Okay. Sorry, my kid is requesting something on his phone. Looks like he wants to learn Spanish. Good for him. Art Studio Pro has just be careful with sunbeams. <laughs> Yeah, I'll make the inside, um, I'll make the inside or that side have more glass. That was a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And like I said, the water is is very much um, static right now. So I'm gonna, that's one thing I'll have to work on. So basically, let's see if I can mimic this. So I'll probably come in and start doing stuff like this, you know, but really what I want to or need to be doing is creating a bit of a reflection here in the water and if i take my brush i'm gonna make this a little bit more muted just kind of kind of paint this in So I'm just going to block this in. So a reflection here. And I can take this color. I guess you could go either way. And then now I'm going to waterify it. Is that a word? Waterify? It's not a word, I'm just teasing. But now, come back in. I guess I need, I need to make the uh, waves look a little more natural here. So, let's see, let's see. All right, I think I've got the, I think I've got it. You know, if the waves are coming in a little bit, and then we'll have some foam in our waves as they come in. to work on this a little bit more for show I don't think I've ever actually uh, painted waves or ripples so I'm gonna have to work I'm gonna have to study and work on this a little bit but I'll keep this as a placeholder for now. 
just as a placeholder. Oh, and then I need let's see if peers can have reflection too. All right, we're gonna see underneath it. So yeah, lots to do here. Lots to do. all right i think i'm gonna wrap it here whoops i'm gonna wrap it here for today but thanks for hanging thanks for jamming for being here um this has been really fun i i just haven't painted ha ah, haven't painted in a while so it was nice to kind of get back into it a little bit so thank you for indulging me being a part of the show today I hope to be back tomorrow for sure Wednesday I'll be back the theme this week again is Marvel despite my painting here I just wanted to wanted to get back to it so Thanks for understanding. If you did, if you didn't, too bad. <laughs> but that's what I wanted to do. Thanks again to the channel members and patrons. Much love and appreciation to you. If you'd like to support, check out Sketch a Day, or sorry, I keep doing this. Check out patreon.com slash sketch a day you can contribute whatever you'd like or pick one of the tiers I'm going to be simplifying things a bit too I mentioned to to uh, the patrons a bit so watch out for that and we'll be doing things like Patreon only streams, portfolio reviews. Um, once I once I get that started up, so if you're interested, check it out at Patreon.com/sketchday. Okay, I really do need to stop, <laughs> but I don't want to. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll even come back later today. We'll see. See how I feel, how much I get done. I've got a lot to do, so. All right, I guess this wouldn't be beach. I should, uh, you know, kind of end this a little bit. If that's a river or something that empties into the, into the bay, the harbor. Yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for today. Um, thanks again. Much love to you. Remember, passion is the process. Keep sketching, keep drawing, and take some time to share what you know. It's going to make you better, ultimately. 
So with that, thanks again. And I'll see y'all next time right here on Sketch Day. Peace out. Oh, peace out. <laughs>